I need a writing retreat. My name is Meredith. I'm a writer and I have not been doing as much writing recently as I would like. I'm on draft four. I've been writing this since February. The book has changed a ton and my deadline for finishing this was July 31st. Like formatting and printing a copy of this draft for myself to edit and also for some close beta readers to edit and that did not happen. All I have left are a few chapters at the end where I'm changing some things tonally and then a checklist of a bunch of random stuff that I need to go back and fix throughout the book and just some things I need to check. And so I want to do it. I want to finish it today or tomorrow morning. The problem is I have been slammed at work. A big project came up that had a really hard deadline. We're not quite to that deadline. And so the project is still ongoing. In the past month and a half, I have been working really diligently, even though it has been exhausting me. I write from like seven to eight and then I go to work and it's just not enough time to do this much work. And so that's obviously why I missed my deadline. So I'm going to take myself away from all of it and get out of my apartment. We're going to focus on my book. So for today, what I do need to do is work on this book for a while in the morning until uh, we're able to check in at the hotel. And I will be bringing my husband with me on this adventure because I can't leave him behind. So let's begin my dedicated writing retreat day. I fixed up chapter 44 and then chapter 45. I forgot that I had to actually draft like a mini scene at the end of 44. So I had to do that. Chapter 45, I needed to add some more urgency in there because I'm kind of changing the tone of the resolution. So I did that. The issue is that I added 400 words. I was trying to cut 400 words, but it's really going to be fine. I need to go change my laundry, so I'm going to take a very short productive break, and then I'm going to get back to it. And I'm going to start on chapter 46. It's now 11.20. I stopped to go change the laundry and then I ended up cleaning the entire house. And now I feel a lot better. Like I actually feel like now I have a space where I can be creative and can write. Like I was just kind of like staring at this corner, trying not to look at anything behind me. I was like, okay, it doesn't exist. The mess isn't there. Everything's fine. And I was like, I have to clean this. So we did that. It took about an hour. It was actually really a procrastination method because I don't want to edit chapter 46 because it's really hard. <laughs> I have a plan for everything. Um, so I think it's going to turn out fine. So now I'm going to get back to it and do chapter 46. Okay. I have my lunch. I'm eating salad, but I thought while I ate, I would do a book update. So let me do that. On audiobook, I just finished Life of Pi. Uh, it was fine. I read books for emotional connection between characters and this didn't have any. So I was like, this is uniquely not suited to me as a reader. I still enjoyed the story. It was kind of like a crash course in like zoology, survival, and animal behavior. And I was like, okay, this is definitely interesting. My next audiobook is Reckless. Lauren Roberts? Yeah, I think that's the one. You all know what I'm talking about. This is the other book that I'm reading right now, Dostoevsky. And so when I don't want to be reading this at that particular moment, I feel like Reckless is a very nice balance because it's like, the opposite kind of book. I really actually love reading both at the same time. It's a lot of fun. Third book I'm reading right now is obviously the one that I just showed you, The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. Overall, wildly clever, very snappy dialogue, just tons of subtext, like just incredibly intelligent writing. It's very clear we're not there for the plot, we're there for the shenanigans, and I, I love it. Fourth book I'm reading right now, Empire of Storms. That's where we are. That's the beginning. I don't know why I can't get through this part. I don't even know where she is or what she's doing right now. I know there are many rewards to be found in this book. I must continue on. That's my reading update. I'm gonna finish my lunch. In a thrilling turn of events, I started editing over my salad at lunch and I did not stop. So I've just finished the book. I have not finished my checklist. So draft four is not done, but I did finish the first six items on the list, which were to edit chapters 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 and reverse outline and finish my reverse outline of the entire full official new draft. So that's what I did. I got all the way to the end of the book and let me tell you when that last line hits, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. Casual, the end. I'm so excited.
you may notice I am not at the hotel. So now I actually have to go pack and then go. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of potential for writing spots. That looks great. Old Faithful, of course. This couch, not bad. Definitely there are options, but there are even better spots downstairs in the lobby area. This is like a great lobby for writing. So I think I'm gonna go find a place down there and it's also happy hour. So <laughs> I think we're gonna have a little writing inspiration shortly. So the time is about 7.30. No, whoa, no, what time is it? Is it eight? Okay, it's 8.05. We were down in the lobby for a while, just very good vibes down there, like low lighting, chill music. So this whole time we've been at the hotel, I have been doing the act one chunk and really just editing chapters one and two and making them shine. And I am so happy with them. So I need to finish basically skimming act one, looking for places where things that I changed in chapter one makes inconsistencies throughout act one. So I need to just keep going with that. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I don't think I'm gonna finish this edit tomorrow morning, but that's okay. I'm loving the atmosphere. I'm just gonna keep going and see how far I get. Okay, it's now like 9.20 and I think I am done for the night. I got through all of act one extra edits and all of fun and games extra edits. And I finally feel like at least the first half of the book is now completely consistent. I think I'm just gonna try to work for a few hours tomorrow morning. I'll be back tomorrow with more updates. Okay, it is about time for checkout. So my hotel adventure has come to an end. I wrote all morning. I did not film speaking parts because <laughs> someone else was sleeping in my room. That sounds weird. There's a spider. I'm just gonna let him chill. <laughs> We're gonna be chill together. This is high, it's too high. <laughs> I want to announce that I am not done, but I finished every edit that I had on my personal list. So the only things left on that list of like 17 items is three things. One critique partner's edits, the second one's edits, and then my alpha reader's edits. Basically, I finished everything that I was looking at the manuscript and I was like, I want to fix this. Sadly, as I was going through, I found a lot of random comments that was like, I just threw this in, please fix later. And I was like, what? Why did I just fix it then? So I think I do want to also look through the manuscript and fix those things. All of my big fixes are done. And every chapter that I read, I'm like, this is so good. I'm just really excited for where this book is going. Hotel writing retreat? I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Are you kidding me? These curtains with my little spider friend on it. I should show you. He's right there. Do you see him? Oh my gosh, you can literally see him on the... Okay, I'm gonna let him be. Anyway, the sunlight through here, I have like zero natural sunlight in my apartment. Like zero. This is just giving me so much happiness and energy. Everything's just clean and beautiful. The peace of mind that comes with being in a clean environment that you don't have to worry about is so lovely, just so lovely. And I feel like I finally had the clarity that I have been longing for and have just not been finding. Everything just clicked, everything was good. So although this still feels in my uh, frugal heart that this was very extraneous, and definitely I could have done like an at-home sort of version of this, it was like, okay, I chose to spend it prioritizing writing and also just doing something fun and out of the norm I feel very fulfilled in my little soul. The reward at the end of all of this is to reread book two. I cannot wait. I wrote this book almost one year ago. It was like the most transcendent writing experience I've ever had. And I've never reread it because I've been working on 
book one, which is such a problem child. I'm really, really looking forward to starting that, hopefully this week. And I think it's possible because of this writing retreat. Next time I want to do a reading retreat, wouldn't that be fun? I think that'd be really fun. Okay, well, that's everything for today. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos on writing, writing craft, writing process stuff. It's a fun time. Happy writing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.